I took the stock pickups out of this ESP L3 EC1000T CTM in vintage gold satin and replaced them with the Fishman Fluence Will Adler set. And as it turns out, this is now my new favorite Fishman pickup set. Let's start by taking a listen to how the bridge pickup sounds with both voicings through my Red 7 amplification Leviathan Joker Edition. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. that sounded absolutely killer so that was this esp l3 ec 1000t ctm in vintage gold satin with the fishman fluence will adler bridge pickup with both the voicings so voice two and voice one and i think that both the voicings sounded really cool here i love this pickup a lot and i put the amplifier through my red 7 amplification leviathan joker edition on the red channel which is the high gain channel that was fed through the Red 7 Amp Central reactive load and then into an Ownhammer Cab IR, the high gain mic mix from the low tuned Essentials. Sweet, sweet tones indeed. So a little while ago, I contacted the kind folks over at Fishman to see if they would send me a couple of sets over to try. I have three ESP L3 EC 1000Ts and they all came with the same pickups, the Fishman Fluence Classic Open Core sets. And those sets are definitely cool, but I wanted to try some more sets, and this was the perfect opportunity. And yeah, as I said, the classic open core sets are fine, especially for those classic tones, obviously. But in a lot of cases, when I'm playing my heavy styles, I think that the bridge pickup on those sets is a little bit too polite. But the neck pickup, however, is pretty great, especially for clean tones. I started by swapping out the classics in my EC1000 D CTM in Violet Shadow, so the blue guitar, and I did a video on that, and that didn't really go as planned. I wanted to put the RZK, so the Richard Z Crispus set from Rammstein in there, and I ran into a little bit of a road bump, so that was pretty interesting. Luckily, it turned out great. Those pickups sound great, and they look cool in that guitar as well. But don't miss that video. Check it out up here or down here if you're interested. And if you want to hear that RZK set in action, as well as listen to a comparison between that set and the classics. And now this guitar was up for the swap. Now the issue that I had with the blue one was that the direct mount pickup routes just were too small for the pickups. Luckily with this guitar, the pickup routes are bigger because of the pickup ring. So swapping these out was very easy, luckily. I did it in like 15 minutes or so, so that was great. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but my dog is gnawing on some toys right there. Sorry for the noise. Anyway, I must say that this set looks... Anyway, I must say that this set looks absolutely killer in this guitar. With this sort of vintage gold look. It fits the guitar perfectly. And this Will Adler set, of course, consists of two pickups. We have the neck pickup, which is the same as the classic neck pickup. And then the bridge pickup, of course, which is the most unique of the two. And of course, the neck pickup comes with the three voicings that the classic also has, including the single coil voice. And we'll take a listen to all those voicings in a minute. 
But as I said, the bridge pickup of this set is where the magic is on this set, especially for heavy music. To quote the Fishman website, the Will Adler signature set combines the classic neck pickup with a crushing ceramic bridge pickup hybrid. Combining the passive attack and dynamics and flux chaos Will loves from the poles with smoother, more even response of the blade. Voice 1 is a thick, old-school, passive, distortion-friendly tone, while Voice 2 handles the higher-octane, active, boosted tones that push an amp into total saturation. The vintage gold finish matches Will's aged hardware. So, Voice 1, which I can activate by pulling up this control over here, is Will's favorite passive tone, plus all the clarity and note definition that only Fluence can deliver. And Voice 2, which I can activate by pushing down this pot, is like the original modern Fluence, but with a tweaked low-end response and magnet structure for a more passive feel. And that is the great thing about this pickup, in my opinion. So let's take another listen to that song from the intro, but this time with the isolated guitars, so you can really hear the different voicings and the overall character up close. Check it out. Cool, so as it turns out, like I said, I really love this bridge pickup a lot. In fact, it's my new favorite Fishman Fluence bridge pickup for rock and metal. And the neck pickup is amazing too, so this set overall is just my favorite Fishman set now. And as the description on the Fishman website states, the two voicings on the bridge pickup are kind of similar to the modern, but tweaked in such a way that makes me love those voicings even more. Especially on voice two, so that active pickup voicing. With the moderns, that voicing tends to be very tight and sort of honky, but with this voicing, it's just a bit more organic, so a bit more fat in the low end. And that's what I really love about this pickup voicing. I prefer it over the normal modern active voicing for sure. So basically, this pickup with both of the voicings just hits the sweet spot for me. I mean, voice one, so the passive voicing is also great with those fatter lows, and those passive dynamics. Really cool, and it's great to have both those voicings in one single pickup. And as I said, the neck pickup sounds great too. What I'm gonna do now is play a simple chord with all the pickup settings, as well as all the voicings through a clean tone in Helix Native with some reverb and an Ownhammer Classic Rock Essentials IR, just to give you an idea of the range of tones that this set has to offer. Check it out. <laughs>
So there you have it, the Fishman Fluence Will Adler pickup set. I like this set a lot, and I definitely think that this guitar looks prettier because of them. And of course, I also think that this set makes this guitar sound a little bit better, especially the bridge pickup. Thanks to the kind folks over at Fishman for sending these pickups over, I really appreciate it. Of course, check out the Fishman website for more information on all these sets. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe down below, and let me know your thoughts on these pickups in the comments. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram, of course. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!